Hey guys, okay, so today I'm going to be doing my fifth video of my back to school series, and that is the middle school makeup tutorial. And I am going into junior high school, but I just wanted to do a middle school makeup tutorial for anyone who's going into middle school and is first starting out with makeup and experimenting more. And maybe your, your parents are lightening up and letting you wear makeup for the first day of middle school. So I'm just going to go ahead and do a middle school makeup tutorial. So since this is middle school, I'm not using a lot of products because once you're in middle school and you're first starting out with makeup, you don't want to use tons of makeup because it's going to look like you're trying too hard and you don't really want that. <laughs> so I'm just going to go ahead and get started. So this isn't a very long video. I always say that in my all of my intros, but... I don't really like to make all of my videos long because I don't have editing clips, I don't have iMovie, so I like to, you know, make it short. So I'm going, the first thing I'm going to do is if you're first starting out and your parents are letting you use concealer, that is totally fine. So if you are using concealer, then use, take your concealer, this is just my CG Invisible Concealer, and put one little dot in the center of your eyeball um, underneath your eyes and the same on the other and then what you're going to do first is use your finger and since the warmth of your finger is going to kind of melt the concealer into your skin to kind of conceal it more so what you're going to do is just dab it all over your eye And just keep just keep blending it in until you can't really see it anymore. I have a canker sore on my lip. I hate it. And then blend in the other eye. So once you're done with that, you're going to go ahead and take a powder, and I'm using my Revlon Photo Ready Powder in Medium Deep. You could use any multitude of powders, but this is just my favorite one, and it's very lightweight feeling, so that's why I use it, and I'm going to be using my Avon Face Brush for this. Any, basically any um, big powder brush like this. I'm going to swirl it around and tap off any excess. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pat it underneath my eyes where we put the concealer. Now, if you guys don't know what powder is, um, I'm always saying this for people that are going into middle school or don't know makeup. Powder is just a setter and kind of um, color corrects at the same time. So it's just, it's, it's going, what we're using it for right now is it's going to set our concealer. So I'm just going to do the same thing on the other eye. And it's going to set our concealer and make us down there, like, set. And corrected. Okay. I hit it on my eye, now I'm crying. Ah. Whoops. Okay, once we are done with that, um, go ahead and use a blush. And I'm using my... Maybelline Dream Bouncy Blush right here, and this is in the color 10 Pink Frosting, and this is a really pretty color for just starting out with makeup. It is very pretty, but very subtle at the same time. So what you're going to do is take, I use my ring finger, and I just pat it in, not a lot, but to where you can actually see it on your skin, and what you're going to do is you're just going to pat it on your cheeks. And then you're going to just rub it in. And you want to be, like, farther away from your nose and kind of, like, right here on your eye. And you're just going to go like this and just drag it up to your cheekbones. This is going to make it subtle, but you're going to also be able to see it a little bit. So that's why we're not going to be putting it on the center of our apples. We're just going to be putting it on the outer apple and up to the cheekbones. Okay, and then what
what you're going to do is I'm going to be taking my e.l.f. powder brush and it's just a flat top brush and I'm just going to be blending out the blush just so it's not very harsh and still you're going to be able to see it. Okay. Once we're done with that, I'm going to take this, it's just a paintbrush that I got at Michael's Craft Store, but this is a, if you guys are wondering, it's a Lowell Cornell Comfort 3600 Oval, 3600 Oval, and it just looks like this. It's basically a foundation brush, and I'm just going to spread out the blush. Okay. Once we're done with that, if you guys want to curl your lashes or you have a curler, go ahead and curl your lashes. So I'm just going to do that. I hold it there for five seconds, if you guys don't know it, and then I'm going to let go. I'm going to take my eyelashes in the crimper again, and then I'm going to hold it up so this gives a maximum curl. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other eye. So hold it there for five seconds. Let it go. And then tilt it up. So it's going to give you a crazy maximum curl. And then what you're going to do, what I do, is I just separate my lashes so once I go ahead and apply mascara they're going to be set and ready. So that's what they look like. Okay, so before I do mascara I'm going to go ahead and line my upper lash line and what I use for that is my L'Oreal Paris Carbon Black Linear Intense Liquid Felt Tip uh, Liquid Eyeliner and what I do is I just shake it so to make sure that all the eyeliner is properly distributed onto the tip and then I don't know how close I can get to do this but what I'm going to do is I'm going to get as close at, to the lash line as possible and just tap it on there So if you guys if you guys can see that, you don't want a very, very thick line, you want a very thin line, as thin as you can get it. And you don't want to wing it out, you just want to have it at the very end of your lashes. But if you do want to wing, I'm not stopping you, you can do whatever you want. Okay, so if you guys can see that, it's not thin, it's not thick. I mean, it's not thick, it's like medium. It's thin. It's as thin as you want to get it for middle school. And then I'm just going to do that same thing on the other eye. I can't really talk when I do this, so I'm not really talking.
Okay. So once I'm done, I'll just go ahead and show you guys what it looks like. It'll look like this. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and apply mascara, and I'm using my CoverGirl Clump Crush Crush Clump Crusher by Lash Blast. And why I'm using this is because it's um it's gonna um emulsify the clumps, so it's not gonna have like clumps in your lashes. And you don't want clumpy mascara for when you're first starting out because it's just gonna look weird, and to you it's gonna look weird because you've never seen that before. So use a um, clump declumping mascara. And this is in black brown, I believe. And there's not any specific way to do this, you just kind of do it, so. So then that's what that eye looks like. And then get some more mascara on your bra applicator. And then just do the same thing on the other eye. Okay, so you just want to make sure that uh, every lash it has mascara on it. Okay, so once we are done with that, we're going to go ahead and move on to the lips. So, my lips are already moisturized with chapstick. So, I have two different lip colors that you can use. A lip butter is perfect because it moisturizes while also giving it color. And this is in the color 040 Red Velvet. And this is a baby lip. And it is in, um, let me look, Pink Shock. And these two colors are a little bit darker and bright for just starting out. But I this one is more, be is more better than this one, if you can see. So I'm just going to be applying this. And I just wanted to show you guys the lip butters because lip butters are absolutely perfect. But just get a lighter color when you get a lip color, or lip butter. And that's a Revlon lip butter, I believe. Yeah, Revlon. And this is a Maybelline Baby Lips. So, oh, I got some mascara on my nose. You want to make sure that you, like, take off any mascara that you get on you. So, just apply it to, to your lips to whatever desired amount you want and then what we're going to do is we're going to kind of shear it out and we're going to use our finger and just in a dabbing motion kind of shear it So there's two things that does that that does it um, drains into your finger and since the m the warmth of your finger and we're using it on your lips is gonna melt the lip color into your lips and make it more a little bit brighter and prettier. So that is it for my middle school makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you get actually something out of this. It's perfect for beginners. So if you guys are beginning with makeup or you're not in middle school or you are in middle school, this look is perfect for you. Um. So hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in my next video. Make sure you link, or er, um, subscribe, comment, like, whatever you want, and comment down below when school starts for you, and I would love to know. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!